Hey Simmers. Hi everyone. Welcome to Make 2 and a special live build. So at the time of this recording, we are currently in week 1 of the Dream Homes update. We've had the patio quest and nothing else. And a lot of you have been asking where are the balconies, where are the basements, and the thing is those items will become available after new quests which will roll out over the next few weeks. So we thought we would do a special live build which will grow as each of those things becomes available. So this week we've got patios, when balconies become available we will add to the property, and when basements become available we'll add to the property again, and we'll record videos for each one. So we've got our property here. Yep, it's right by the castle and the volcano on the island, and actually we're going to be building a castle of our own. This is going to be Hogwarts Castle. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Yep, it's a, a quirky building with lots going on and basements and towers and things, so I think it's going to be a really cool build for this. So first of all, I'm going to build, because it's free right now with nothing on the property, the uh, walls and the roof. And for the roof I'm going to go for dark tiled. So let's get stuck in. Now. I'm going to make use of these one by one corridors to build a courtyard around the front entrance to the school. So it's got two one by four corridors and a one by six corridor, and these are going to have a lot of archways in them, so it gives this big open feel. That leads into the building itself, and I'm doing it as a separate building because I want these to be separate heights. The courtyard is only going to be one story long. Yeah, so one feature of the current update is that you can now have multiple buildings on the same lot, which are different numbers of floors. So we're going to definitely take advantage of that and have, say, what, a few towers that are certain, some number of floors above the main castle building and other buildings on the property. Exactly. So here I've built the main corridor, a 3x3, three three, a 3x9, three and a 3x something quite big. Uh, and this is going to lead in from that sort of main entrance way to one of the key features of Hogwarts Castle, which is the Great Hall. This is going to be the Great Hall in the centre of the screen now, uh, as big as we can get it realistically. And off of that I wanted to build a couple of classrooms. Just small ones, and we make them a bit bigger than that, uh, just so there is some space for kids to go to school and go to their classes. So here's one classroom, and here, oh, excuse me, and here is a, another classroom. We can always fiddle with these sizes a little bit later. Just want to say, guys, we're not exactly building this from scratch. We've definitely planned it out ahead of time yeah. with graph paper. <laughs> yeah, which we do recommend certainly because big buildings like this add up in price. Here I'm adding a set of restrooms, boys and girls next to each other. So these one by two rooms are actually going to be the toilets themselves and these bigger three by twos are going to be where uh, the basins are. The sinks. The sinks, yeah. So we've got a ground floor with a courtyard, a big corridor, which will also be opened with lots of archways, the Great Hall, a couple of classrooms, and some bathrooms. Now, there are also, because there are towers, I wanted to build a few towers on this property. So I'm going to build one here, which is 4x4, four four. and if you want a tower with stairs that can be more than one two-storey high, you need to have uh, at least four by four. But here I'm going to build, think about there, a two by two. And this isn't going to be accessible, I think, so far, but I think it will look nice. These are hopefully going to be four or five storeys tall when that becomes unlocked. And here I'm going to do a five by five tower because I want this to have a bit more space in it. Uh, and I think this might be Gryffindor Tower later on. Sounds good. So you're building these towers completely not touching the main building because we want these to be different 
heights, different, exactly. different number of floors. Yeah, and I've just got two more little buildings to build on the lot for one floor, and then I'm going to add some floors so we can see what it would roughly look like uh, with just the three floors we have now. So right at the top corner here, I'm going to build a series of little rooms, and the main room is going to be four by four. This is going to be Hagrid's cottage. Hagrid's hut. Hagrid's hut. <laughs> uh, so I'm using these one by two rooms to give it a slightly more interesting shape and these will also all be opened with archways and there'll just be a door on one side and just be one big room really. The, the one by twos are just for decoration. Now on the other side here I wanted to build a greenhouse. It's going to be six by four. This is where Professor Sprout teaches her stuff. Exactly. So let's take a look at it now. You can see it all looks like one big building with these two at the back and it doesn't look so fascinating yet. But let's start adding some floors. So I'm going to add a floor and another floor. So now I've spent that money adding floors to get it to three high on the rest of the property won't cost me anything at all, which is nice. Um, yeah, so once you have spent money to buy a second floor, a third floor, or whatever, any other building on the property will be free to add the same floors. So I'm making all the towers three stories with the assumption that at some point they'll grow to be four or five stories tall. The main body of the castle is just two right now, just so it can, it will probably end up being three, but I want to give you a sense of what it looks like when it is lower down than the towers. So this is roughly, I think, what it's going to look like. We've got a castle with three towers, a pretty quirky shape to the main building, and then at the back here we have Hagrid's hut and a greenhouse, but the greenhouse is all in stone. Cool, I so it's like looking, it. So sort of the bones of the place is looking quite good, but now there's obviously a lot of texture and detail that we need to add. We're going to do some of this off camera just because there's, as you can see with a building this big, there's just a lot to get through. We want to show you some key elements. So let's start off with some, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's start off with the greenhouse. We're just going to take advantage of, well, using lots of social points and the new way of being able to fit windows or doors next to each other. Oh, so here we can see I didn't make this long enough. There we go. And let's go back, sorry, to windows and find these very big and very expensive social point windows. I'm using bright black here. I'm going to have this going round on two and a half sides and then let's do another one here just on the left of this side for the this wall the rightmost wall I'm actually doing half windows because in is it Prisoner of Azkaban what are you when of? when uh, Harry takes the luck potion Oh my he, gosh, that's Half Blood Prince. Half Blood Prince, Jeez. and he goes past the um, the greenhouse, yeah. and the windows are only on this side, half high, and he peers in, yes. and he sees um, Slughorn. Slughorn. That's why it's Half Blood Prince. He he sees Slughorn trying to steal something from the one of the plants. I can't believe you're building Hogwarts Castle and you know nothing about Harry Potter. <sighs> and yet here we are. So, I wanted to give... Are they your single doors? No, they're double doors. They're double, oh, oh, here they are. So, I've, I've gone for black for the rest. I'm going to go for black here as well. And yes, we will do the insides and outsides. do those off camera. So, let's just take a quick look at that. It's I looking, love that you can do this now in this update. It's looking a lot more like a greenhouse. I think this looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, now, maybe we'll do the doors on Hagrid's Cottage just as a simple way of showing how these would work. And I want to use hmm, single archways or double archways. I think for him I'm going to use double archways 
because it's meant to be more open. So I'm going to use this Victorian black frame. I'm going to put one on each side of these kind of little extra rooms. They're a bit like I don't know, covered balconies really, uh, which you can't quite do with the balconies. So let's do, and that's the last one there. And then let's put in an actual door for him on this side. Let's take a quick look how that looks from the outside. So it does give a sense of openness. And these, these aren't rooms you can do anything with, they are just for show. We're going to repeat that a lot throughout. I'm just going to do a couple more just to give you a sense of what they will look like. I'm going to use a lot of these dark archways inside the castle itself. And if I put three here and three down at the bottom of this corridor, it yeah. does feel like it is flowing. And yes, these are kind of structural rather than actually making for different rooms. So I, I like that effect. So they look more like columns now. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to repeat that throughout every single part of this courtyard to give it a real sense of courtyardness. Next thing, let's go do some patios before we take a break. So let's paint ourselves a patio for the courtyard. And we're going to go for this nice grey slate stone which looks a little bit formal. We're going to do this around the rest of the property as well just to link these towers. And what I like about doing these patios is it is just like painting. Uh, you can just paint wherever you want things and there they go. So we're just painting all around and you're painting actually individual little rooms. So here's one, I'm now going to colour this the same with the same stone. We can do the same at the back. It's just going to be a small one here, just to show that these towers are linked. And this tower at the back, I think, might be where Dumbledore's office is going to be, right at the top of that tower. So let's do a front door to this place so that I don't get this um, pathway going to the back. You know, these big medieval ones, I'm gonna actually going to put one on either side, again touching and right at the edge of the property, just so that looks nice. I'm now going to do something a little bit strange. It's not going to be quite a patio, but it's going to use the benefits of the patio I think in a pretty cool way. I'm going to make a path that runs all the way back behind the greenhouse, picking up Half-Blood Prince again. This is the path Harry took. I'm then going to try and draw a slightly higgledy-piggledy pathway, just like this. And that takes you to Hagrid's hut. <laughs> and this one I'm going to do, go in a bit more random stone. Cool. Yeah, if I met this, these two patios together, they end up being one, and then they'd have to have the same stone. Mm -hmm. So this way, because I've got them separated, even just by a little bit, they can stay separate. Step separate, as in separate patterns. Separate patterns, yeah. So you can have one looking a bit more formal and one looking a bit more randomly placed. And this is our randomly placed path, which uh, the students or teachers could walk along. So I think now we're going to take a bit of a break, show you, fill in all the things, and then come back when we've got some details. Okay, so we've done some decorating. Yeah, we've been busy and we have filled in doorways everywhere, interior decorating, and I think we've got this first floor done uh, as far as we're going to do. So let's take a quick tour. I put archways around every single one uh, of the blocks for this courtyard at the front. That's pretty cool. But what's it going to look like? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah, uh, that looks the, nice. Yeah, it doesn't look so great from the first floor, but when you put the roof on, it looks really good. Yeah. You can see I've done nothing really apart from made space for staircases for the second floor, and just while we're here, the third floor, <laughs> just put something in this tower here. Uh, <laughs> so it's a bit like the astronomy tower. Uh, on the side here, we uh, just have Gryffindor Tower, which needs a bit more work. This is just a corridor entryway. Got some paintings and some suits of armor, uh, and a haunted suit of armor because there's lots of haunted things in Hogwarts. We have a couple of classrooms on this side, stuff full of tables and chairs and magical paraphernalia to fill it out here. They each have a. This one has a blackboard and a lectern and just some more desks and at the back some spooky bookcases spooky they're just magical yeah magical restrooms here uh, i could only fit one sink in because i uh, one base because i wanted to fit a light in and it's very basic and monotonous over here dumbledore for his tower gets both sumptuous wallpaper hangings, medieval wallpaper hangings, and the super shiny golden spiral staircase. The last thing here is the Great Hall, which is pretty great. It's impossible for any sim to get beyond these first four chairs here, <laughs> but I think it looks really good. You could put in like a door on the side of the Great Hall next to the Just big tables, here. yeah, the yeah. teacher tables. Uh, but I think it looks nice. Yeah. You've got these big windows at the back, and again, the sumptuous medieval wall hangings. The last things to show are outside. First of all is the greenhouse. Just a few of these workbenches with as many flowers, different types of flowers as would fit, onto the bench. The benches, and over here we have... Hagrid's hut. This I think is super cozy. It's got a big bed with this animal skin rug over it. Magical fireplace and just a very simple table and chair. So that's it. When we have unlocked the next part of the quest, there'll be an update to this. I hope we're getting balconies and that's a great excuse to add floor too. Yep, this property is just going to keep growing and growing, and hopefully you guys will stick with us until the end. Yeah, I think it's going to be our biggest, most impressive, most complicated <laughs> build yet. Yeah, well, hopefully impressive. <laughs> impressive to us. So remember, if you want to visit either of our towns, Sims Landing or Sims Peaks, then you need to become neighbors with us by making friends on Facebook. Information for that is in the video description. Just click on Show More. We can't have any Game Center requests because we've reached 500 friends limit on Game Center, unfortunately. So if you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned because more expansion and update of Hogwarts is coming soon. Thanks for watching.